do my jumping jacks up here. So uh, as she said, I'm Mark Caldwell with Robot Cash. Um, and I'm a gamer. I've been in the gaming industry for over 30 years. Uh, I started making games back in the 80s um, with the release of a game called Might and Magic, which is pretty popular, and Heroes, and a bunch of other games that uh, some people have played if you're old like I am. Uh, but that being said, uh, I'm a gamer. I've, I've founded publishing companies, I've founded developers, uh, and I'm still a gamer. And as each new technology comes along, we try to look at how we can use these technologies to make games and gamers' uh, lives better. Uh, you know, it was going from disks to CD-ROMs to the internet to now the blockchain. So, you know, what can we do uh, with the blockchain? Uh, my founders and I have all been in the industry for over 30 years, so combined we have an over 100 years total of time uh, being uh, in the gaming industry. Um, as I said, we've all been publishers, developers, and gamers, and we have an unfair advantage, and that is we know all the other publishers and gamers in the industry as well, right? Um, digital game sales right now are dwarfing retail sales and it's only gonna be better by, by, by more digital sales coming to life. Along comes the blockchain, right? And a tokenized economy, this equals robot cash. Um, if you take a look at the global gaming market, uh, it's $100 billion, uh, up seven, almost 8% year over year. Uh, the biggest market being uh, Asia. Um, but uh, one of the biggest competitors that we're going against in the space is called Steam. Steam did $3.4 billion in sales last year in just digital PC game sales, right? We're, gonna, we're going after Steam. We're going to be the first decentralized, distributed digital game platform for selling games. But not just stopping there. We're going to be using the blockchain to also allow gamers to sell games. So you can download a digital game right now and play it, and when you're done, what happens? you throw it away, or it takes up hard drive space because you don't delete it, right? But now, because of the blockchain, we have proof of ownership. I know for a fact that you bought it, and now that you've played it, and it was a wonderful game, you want to get rid of it, so you sell it, this guy buys it, right? And I want to reward you for doing that, right? Also, the paradigm in the industry is currently a 70-30 split. Publishers get 70%, developers and publishers get, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, uh, get that 70%, and then uh, Steam or other platforms like uh, iTunes, uh, iOS or uh, Google get 30%, right? It doesn't cost 30% to operate these platforms. So we're actually only gonna take 5% and we're gonna give 95% uh, back to the publishers. And if you sell a game, we're gonna give you 25%. The publisher then gets the same 70 they're getting now and we get 5% as well, right? Looking at this chart right here, you can see what digital and retail sales were like and how they're actually going down the line. You can see uh, retail sales actually declining over that time. Um, in the industry today, the current fee is 30%, um, and there is no ability to, to resell your products. We give you the ability to resell those products. Um, and uh, <clears throat> platforms make more. Oh yeah, so when I was a developer, uh, and, and uh, <coughs> publishers were selling my game, you know, Steam as an example was selling it, they were getting 30%. Uh, the publisher was getting 70%, of which they were giving me 20. Right, so I was actually making less <coughs> than the distribution platform was making. I just felt that wasn't fair. Right? So why are publishers going to want to do this? Right? How do we help the publishers level up? Um, it's a 30% fee. We reduce that down to 5 so they're getting 95%. Right now, if you go and you take a game and you sell it to GameStop, the largest uh, reseller uh, uh, in, um, the, in, the, uh, in the retail space, they give you like a dollar or two dollars, and then they go and sell it for 20 bucks. But they don't give the developer or the publisher or anybody who created the game anything. They keep it all. Right? And that's just not right. So, uh, you know, again, we're giving them, the, the, the publishers right now, we're giving them the same 70% that they get on sales right now and 95% on uh, original sales. Um, and, of course, the security of the blockchain helps us prove ownership. Why would gamers come to the platform, right? Well, first off, we're letting you resell your games, so you're going to have the ability to make money. If you, had, if you could go onto Steam today and, and take your entire back catalog and sell it, you, you would, but you can't. Right? And Steam can't offer it. They're probably not going to do it. Right? We're going to do it day one. Right? Um, we're going to allow gamers to mine iron in the game. Iron's going to be our currency. Um, and so if you want, you can allow that to happen. It's off by default, but you can opt into it. Um, and this gives you the ability to earn more currency that you can use to buy more games. Um, 
We're gamifying the platform. We're also going to be offering strategic partnerships with various manufacturers. We are not going to announce any today. But just imagine if, as an example, you could buy other things with iron on our site, things that you would use like video cards and processors and things like that. You know? um, as far as the token sale goes, um, we're going to make uh, 300 million tokens. Um, we're right now, as of January 17th, we've just started our institutional uh, where we're doing a 50% discount, but we've already oversold that. So we're in our 40% discount right now. That will last until uh, February 14th, uh, happy Valentine's Day. And then February 15th to March 1st, we will be doing a public uh, sale where there's a 25% discount. In the US, we are allowing US investors, uh, but you have to be accredited to be a US investor, and we are registered as an SEC Reg D security. Um, the executive team consists of Lee Jacobson, who's been in the industry um, at Atari and Midway and a lot of other companies, uh, myself, uh, a lot of companies uh, that I founded, including Disney and Playdom uh, and Midway, and Philippe, who was actually running uh, Warner Brothers and a lot of other things like that. Um, our advisory team consists of Brian Fargo, um, who's also a co-founder, and he has run companies like Interplay, um, and he currently runs NX Isle, uh, Michael Maloney, Chris. Uh, this is actually, um, uh, Gordon, you guys probably know, Anna is actually somebody you probably haven't heard of before, but she is one of the co-founders of Steam, our competitor, right? So she's actually on our advis advisory board. Um, and then we've uh, got Kevin Baker, and then because we have an unfair advantage and we know everybody, we can add people like Nolan Bushnell to our advisory team. For those of you who don't know, Nolan founded Atari, right? He also founded Chuck E. Cheese and a lot of other things. He's still very active in the space, um, and uh, he's, he's been a longtime friend of ours because, again, we have an unfair advantage to know everybody. Um, but RoboCash will change the digital distribution game forever. We've got three minutes left. <laughs> Uh, may, I, may I have a question? I think he's gone to do more oh. stumping, jumping jacks or star jumps. We do have a question from our judges, so go ahead. Uh, David. So, uh, as a security token, how do you plan to provide liquidity to uh, the investors? What are the exchanges that you are planning to list on? Um, well, uh, we're not actually planning to list it on an exchange. Uh, so, the secondary market will be where for the uh, well, uh, investors? The secondary market will become the secondary market as it normally would. We don't have to actually list it for it to be the case. At some point in time, you know, it may get listed. We don't know. But uh, more importantly, uh, you know, the token itself is used for the transference of, uh, you know, the game and the game rights and, and things like that. So we're using it in that sense. Uh, we didn't uh, we, want to we eliminate. We are cold-hearted and. Uh, I'm sorry. For, we are cold-hearted and look for financial upside. Absolutely, you want to make money, you know. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, we, we don't want to eliminate American investors or uh, purchasers, as uh, some people may call them. Uh, we wanted to open it up to everybody. So we're, we're working with the SEC and uh, the American government to make sure we're, we're doing things above board and we're doing it the right way. Um, that being said, there, there are going to be various ways that you, you know, will be avail able to cash out if you need to. Those are up to you to figure out, but I have no doubt that, you know, you'll find a way. Thank you. Any Jumping Jack questions? Now? 